Hello everyone. Welcome to the 12th tutorial class on neural network and fuzzy logic control. And this class will be presented by myself, Dr. Shudip Mondal, Assistant Professor of Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering from Jalpaiguri Government Engineering College. So coming to the content of this class. In this class, we shall discuss a very important topic, namely adaptive resonance theory or ART. And before starting the adaptive resonance theory, we shall also discuss a very, very important uh, phenomenon called stability plasticity dilemma. And after that, we shall uh, view the architecture of ART1 neural network. So let's start coming to the first slide that is the adaptive resonance theory. This network was first developed by Stephen Grossberg and Gail Carpenter in the year 1987. Okay, basically uh, adaptive resonance theory or ART system uh, was utilized for mainly pattern recognition. Like uh, suppose uh, you are giving or you want to recognize the pattern for different letter for A, for B, for C like uh, for different person handwriting okay so that is the uh, pattern recognition okay and uh, apart from it ART system can be also used to classify different type of cognitive and brain data okay and we should remember that ART system used unsupervised learning model or learning technique okay so ART is an example of unsupervised learning techniques okay now the name why do we use the the name adaptive and resonance so the term adaptive and resonance used uh, which suggest that they are open to new learning uh, this is the significance of the term adaptive and uh, during the learning it should not discard the previous learning or the old information uh, that is the significance of the term resonance so let's uh, explain it suppose uh, <coughs> in the hand handwriting uh, initially we give a uh, pattern for letter a okay and in the second uh, phase of the training you are giving a pattern for the letter B okay so suppose the network is already learned the letter A now during the learning uh, it should always open to new learning like uh, if the letter was B which is quite different from the letter A but it is it should be open for the uh, learning of the incoming letter or incoming pattern which is new to the system okay so that's why we use the term adaptive okay and moreover uh, during the learning of the second or new pattern it should not discard, uh, discard the previous information like as it is already learned the letter A so during the learning of B it should not discard the letter A okay so with uh, it should learn the new new pattern without discarding the old pattern so that is the significance of the two term adaptive and resonance okay now uh, uh, basically this uh, uh, this uh, term like adaptive resonance is uh, quite uh, related with related with uh, another uh, technical term that is called the stability plasticity dilemma okay so what is stability uh, so stability refers to the nature of memorizing the memorizing memorizing the old learning and uh, plasticity refer to the fact that they are flexible to the uh, to gain new information okay so as art network can deal with these two uh, dilemma like uh, stability and plasticity so art network is very preferable to learn new input pattern without forgetting the past now what is the significance of the term dilemma so dilemma of a system that asks how learning can proceed in response to huge input patterns and simultaneously not to lose the stability of the irrelevant patterns so that is the stability plasticity dilemma uh, so ART type network can deal with the stability plasticity dilemma you should remember uh, it is very important term okay so 
next coming to the basic principle uh, for the ART network. Uh, so ART network is concerned about how a system can adapt new data or new pattern while keeping what was learned before. So as you <clears throat> as we want to store the uh, pattern or information that was learned before, so we need to use a feedback mechanism. Okay, so a feedback mechanism is included among the art neural network layer. Okay, so uh, in this in this type of neural network, the data in the form of pre-processing element uh, element output reflect back and ahead among the layers. That means uh, information are sharing between input and output layer. But it can go to the in the uh, from one layer to next layer and it can uh, come back from that layer to the input layer okay so if an uh, appropriate letter is built up the resonance is reached and then adaption can occur during this period okay so uh, so when an appropriate pattern has been uh, learned we can call it that the system is in resonance condition okay and during the learning ERT network implement a clustering algorithm okay so <clears throat> what happened input is presented to the network and the algorithm checks whether it fit into the uh, one of its already stored cluster if the data or information fits uh, then the input is added to the cluster that matches the most else a new cluster is formed okay so that is the uh, uh, basic operating principle for the ART network so we need to run a clustering algorithm so what it uh, what it will do uh, basically uh, uh, it will check whether the in incoming input pattern is fit with the already stored cluster if it uh, fit with the already stored cluster then uh, fine it will added to the added to that cluster and uh, if not then a new cluster is formed that means uh, it can uh, identify or you can learn the new pattern without hampering the old one clear so now coming to the next slide that is the class of art uh, uh, basically carpenter and Grosberg uh, developed different art architecture uh, and they are doing this for uh, at least 20 years of research okay so the unsupervised technique for the art uh, network can be classified as follows Initially, uh, that is ART1. So it is a simple and basic ART architecture and it is capable of clustering the binary input values. Okay. Whereas ART2 is the extension of the ART1 and it can uh, deal with the continuous valued input data. So the, the basic difference between ART1 and ART2 is that ART1 deal with the binary input pattern and ART2 deals with the continuous input value. Okay and next one is the fuzzy art so as you uh, can see the name uh, that fuzzy that means it is the augmentation of fuzzy logic and art okay so now uh, in this class we shall only discuss the uh, brief architecture of the art one type of neural network okay uh, so the adaptive resonance theory is a type of neural network that is self-organizing and competitive okay and the basic ART model uh, uh, model for the ART1 architecture uh, is consist of uh, three part first one is the F1 layer second one is the F2 layer and third one is the reset module so F1 layer uh, is also known as the comparison field okay where input are processed okay next uh, F2 layer it is also called as the recognition field or clustering unit uh, okay so here the clustering has been formed okay and the reset module uh, it basically act as a control mechanism whether uh, the uh, incoming input pattern can be formed uh, for can be formed as new new cluster or it can be uh, it can be divided it can be stored into the already predefined cluster okay so con coming to the details of the or the functions of the different layers so the first one is the f1 layer so what uh, f1 layer do uh, the f1 layer basically accepts the input and the perform some processing and it transfer it to the f2 layer 
okay and that best matches with the classification factor okay now uh, <clears throat> there exist two set of weighted interconnection for controlling the degree of similarity between unit in the f1 and f2 layer okay next the f2 layer is called as the competitive layer okay here the cluster unit with the La, uh, large net input become the candidate to learn the input pattern first and the rest f2 units are ignored okay so uh, this one basically the block diagram of art1 architecture you can see that uh, f1 layer here uh, f1 layer is shown in two part one is called f1 a layer another is called f1 b layer f1 a layer call is the input portion where you can see that uh, s1 is Two is three up to S N. These are nothing but the uh, where the input are already incident to it, and it just go to the F one B layer where some P processing has been uh, has been done, and basically it is also called as the interface portion. And you can see that this layer, the output of this F one B layer, is directly goes to the all the nodes of the output layer, which is called as the F two layer, or it is called as the clustering unit. Okay. And you can see that x1 is connected to the y1 via weight tij whether whereas uh, all the nodes of the output layer or the cluster unit has been connected to the again x1 x2 up to xn via the another weight bij okay so you can see that x is connected to the y via the weight tij and y is output oh, sorry and f2 layer is connected to the f1 layer okay via bij okay so two sets of weights are required okay why because we need to identify new cluster without hampering the uh, stored cluster in it if it if it uh, if new cluster has been found so we can we need to also store that cluster okay and then another thing you can see that uh, the input uh, uh, input from the x1 uh, is going to the reset unit okay so uh, uh, so reset unit has a major role during the learning so what the what is the function of the reset unit so reset unit basically makes the decision whether or not the cluster unit is allowed to learn the input pattern depending on how the similar its top down weight vector is to the input vector and to the decision okay so the reset unit basically takes the decision whether new cluster will be formed or not okay so now if the degree of the similarity between the top down weight vector and the input vector is less than the vigilance parameter basically which is the constant and predefined constant by the system then the cluster is not allowed to learn the pattern and a reset will happen okay so this procedure uh, or this phenomenon is called as the vigilance test uh, test Thus, we can say that the vigilance parameter helps to incorporate new memories or new information. Higher vigilance produces more detailed memories, but and lower vigilance produces more general memories. It should be remembered, and we always expect that vigilance uh, um, more vigilance uh, is uh, preferable for the um, sophisticated systems. So, now, coming to the advantages of the art network so the application uh, you can see that we can use the art network in the various fields like the uh, to control the mobile robot for the face recognition handwriting recognition land cover called classification target recognition medical diagnosis signature verification etc etc okay and um, another advantage of the art is that it exhibits stability but and but it is not disturbed by a wide variety of input provided to its network and moreover it can be integrated and used with others technique uh, to achieve more uh, classification or more clustering accuracy okay and uh, the last one uh, we can already told that it is uh, it is uh, advantage of competitive learning okay now uh, but ait has some limitation also uh, like the Faji art and art has um, are, uh, are inconsistent okay uh, why they are inconsistent basically uh, it has been found that the learning is depending on the order in which the training data or uh, training data has been provided okay 
and moreover it is also depending on the learning rate okay so that's why uh, uh, rt network uh, are inconsistent in nature and uh, for this same uh, reason it does not guarantee stability in forming clusters okay so these are the limitations and uh, so coming to the conclusion part so in this class uh, we have learned uh, and a very important uh, concept of adaptive relations theory or ART and we all have also uh, observed the architecture of ART1 network which is a very, very uh, basic and simplest type of ART network and it can be used for the mainly uh, pattern class uh, <coughs> pattern recognition where we want to learn the new pattern without uh, losing uh, losing the already learned or already stored pattern or cluster okay so these are the reference thank you